Look where we are, ladies and gentlemen. We're back at our lake spot. For an official quarantine. So, how's everybody doing? Hope you guys are doing good. Crazy times in the world. I wanted to talk to you today in this video about how I am handling coronavirus, precautions I'm taking, how plans are changing, um, but also how I'm gonna stay positive, stay away from people, have fun, and uh, hopefully give you guys some good entertainment, keep you pumped up about life, because life's still pretty great, even though some people are going through some really hard times. Um, so anyways, let's dive on in, hang out, and uh, quarantine, baby. You. <laughs> everyone well we're back at Klamath uh, Lake beautiful oh it looks like the snow's coming in <laughs> yeah we got some stuff dropping on us here so we got our beer outside so it stays cold and some water we'll just keep this stuff inside for a little while I'll bring some hazy trail IPA hopefully that stuff gets snowed on so it stays real cold uh, but yeah we got to get in there Snow is about to come down. Well, you might be wondering, what the heck am I doing here at Klamath Lake? I was literally just here a couple weeks ago in the Sherp Tech Tacoma video to make my way up to Oregon. So on, I want to say about March 11th, I went camping with Chris and Edward um, out to the snow. I just showed you guys a bunch of those videos and we had a blast. And we knew that the coronavirus was a very serious thing but it hadn't gotten as serious as it was about to get. Uh, I was telling them how much fun I'm having with this new Jeep build and also how it's been a little bit stressful to just try to organize so many different people together and yada yada. And we joked about uh, me postponing the build because of coronavirus. We literally joked about that. After a couple nights in the snow, I came back to Chris's house, spent the night at his place, woke up the next morning and he was outside. I met him outside. And he said, I'll never forget this. He said, well, Phil, bars and restaurants are closed. We can't even go grab a beer. Welcome to the new world. And I was just like, what? And he walked inside and I'm like, what? Talks of state shutdowns and border shutdowns and all that came into play this Monday. And I literally, within a few hours, um, I thought very hard. I mean, Chris and Shauna were literally laughing at me because I was sitting on their couch like, staring just thinking about what should i do and i kept landing on it's better to overreact than underreact so i played out both scenarios right because in this case there's not a whole lot of just status quo keep doing what you're doing you're either going to overreact a little bit or you're going to underreact a little bit in my opinion so i decided it would be the best bet to quarantine myself as much as possible come in contact with as little amount of people on the drive home, get gas as little as possible, um, and take about two weeks doing that to kind of quarantine myself, make sure I don't feel any symptoms. I feel great. I've never, never, I haven't been sick in a long time, but um, I wanted to take this very seriously. So this is my first camp spot here at Klamath Lake. Now we're going to head home slowly. We're going to hit up spots that we know that we've already been to. Um, not always because that's not always going to be an option. But the main thing is I am going to limit my exposure to people as much as possible. So I'm only going to stop to fill up gas. I'm not going to go in the gas stations and things like that, poking around gift shops and yada yada. When I use the gas pump, uh, I grab a paper towel and I put it over the pump. Gas pumps, you know, things like that I've been very careful of. And other than that, I'm out alone by myself. I make sure I'm camping in spots where nobody else is going to be here. Um, and so far I've been really successful with that. We're going to postpone the uh, camper portion of the Jeep build, but the Jeep build is still steadily moving forward. Um, I'm working with tons of different sponsors. I'm really excited to announce these sponsors with you guys and, and do a whole build series with that. But that's going to come when it's all ready. So I am excited 
to take a step back, put more videos out for you guys about living in this A-frame. I'm going to live in this trailer a little bit longer than expected. But you know what? I'm so thankful to have a brand new Jeep. I love this Jeep. I love this trailer for the most part. It's super comfortable and I'm just really thankful where I'm at. Last thing I'll say before we head off to Reno and drive through a bunch of snow to our next camp spot is that I think in this whole pandemic, this whole COVID-19 coronavirus stuff going on in the world, um, number one, I, I know we can get through it. I'm no expert, of course, but once this all blows over, I feel like we're due for a big shift in perspective. I think that's going to be the biggest positive gain that we'll have out of this is changing people's perspective and realizing that, look, if you've got food and water and toilet paper is fully stocked on the shelves, we should be pretty happy. Um, and we have a lot to be thankful for, even in this time right now. So. Remember what you're thankful for. Remember the people that you're thankful for. Call them. If you're stuck at home, give them a call. Talk to people. Just stay connected, I think, is the biggest thing. Um, and that's a str been a struggle for me, too. I've been out by myself a bunch, and it's, it's easy to just hunker down and just kind of forget about everybody. But um, I think we all should stay connected, stay positive. Um, and anyways, that's how I'm escaping the coronavirus with my, you know, super crazy title but hey that's how we got you here right so anyways uh great time here at klamath lake uh i'm gonna go to you know enjoy the rest of the day catch up on some editing we'll catch back with you tomorrow when we head through a bunch of snow to reno nevada you check this out this looks like a volcano over here <laughs> well it almost did from the right angle over there <laughs> well we're in california <laughs> Sure don't look like it though, do it. Since you weren't there, you'll have to wait till the next episode to see what we end up doing and stay tuned for the next few episodes. We're going to be throwing it back old school style with the vlogs, traveling again from Oregon down to Arizona. And well, we made it to AZ, been at this spot quarantining for a few days now, and overall the quarantine has been successful. Anyways, comment below. I'm here for you guys uh, during this time. I'm committed to putting out a ton of videos for you. I know a lot of you are at home and uh, just looking for stuff to do. So let's stay pumped up about life. Work on some of those projects. Um, you know, I'm gonna do some videos as well about my opinions on camping during this time and getting outside because it's not as simple as, uh, yeah, just go camping and yeah, go overlanding and do what you want. No, we have to do our part uh, to help stop and slow this thing. So I'm gonna be doing some uh, opinionated videos of mine of what maybe is the kind of right way to do this and what might be the wrong way. Um, but again, I am excited to uh, be in one spot for a while in a house and have a home base. 
Make sure you're subscribed. Do all the good stuff there. Check out downtomob.com. Scroll back through Instagram. I got tons of cool posts. And if you're really looking for stuff to watch, uh, last year I put out so many videos of full-time living in my flatbed Dodge Cummins truck camper, the Dodge Mahal. Uh, so go check out that series. I got so many cool videos that I don't think have enough videos and I've been told that as well. So anyways, thanks so much for watching. Uh, appreciate you guys for being here in this time and again, I feel like uh, creators and people in my type of industry or in my shoes need to step up at this time and help you guys and, and keep you motivated and, and positive and entertained. So I'm excited to see you in the next video. Hopefully that'll post up in another day or two. I'm just going to be whipping them out for you. The only question is, are you down to mob on your couch and just watch TV and social distance and stuff? <laughs> you! Mob. Oh, I'm so